Seven o'clock, okay. I'll call the November 17th, 2022 meeting of the Economic Development Commission to order. Roll call, starting on my left. Kate Gilliam. June Gagney. Mary Ann Chinati. Adrian Paulson. Paul Smith. Ava Colonna. Thank you. Uh, there are no additions to the agenda. Uh, minutes approval. October 20th, 2022. Has everybody reviewed them? Any comments, changes, modifications? Motion? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from October 20th. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Public participation? Nothing? Okay. Reports? Uh, just three quick reports on the Interroyal property, the survey, Field work has been done for over there, and the um, survey should be completed within the next couple of weeks or so. Um, I met with the woman that's going to be doing the market study. She's gotten started on that. Again, to reiterate, that market study should be ready within the next six months or so. Um, Lathrop Road sidewalk project. Uh, final plans has been sent to DOT for review and comment. We're waiting on those. Um, construction should begin springtime, potentially early summer. And that's the same with the Shepherd Hill project as well. Uh, the job fair on October 13th went well. We had 23 businesses uh, attending. And um, feedback from them was very positive. And they're looking forward to participating again. So I'm planning another one for April 20th of next year. Um, actually, I did reach out and ask to please be notified if they actually hired anyone that, that attended any of the job seekers. And so far, uh, six job seekers have found work. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Okay, on to old business. Economic development plan discussion. Adrian? Just, you know, where you said you were going to um, do some work on the plan. And yeah, so okay. basically I started translating the plan to uh, like an interlocking series of business analysis spreadsheets. So that sounds complicated because you have to be granular to track everything accurately, but then you can convert that to pivot tables uh, so that you can see things more quickly based on particular subject areas so that we don't have to comb through a Word document. We can just look at a pivot table and say, hey, this is where we're at with this, this is where we're at with that. Um, I've, I, can, I can show you, I, don't, I have an ability to share the screen, but I do have the draft spreadsheet right now. But I've broken it out so that we can kind of assign priority to the different action items. Uh, I've mapped the 17, or I started mapping the 17 action items to the four goals that we have outlined in here. Mm -hmm. just so that they map to the most adjacent or directly corresponding goals so we can see that we're, we're actually, you know, action items tie into our goals rather than we just have an action item that doesn't tie into it specific goal. That would mean we need to kind of think about what we're doing. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there's a lead category as in who would be directly or most directly responsible for that particular action item. That would be something we can talk about. I guess if, when I'm done with this in the next few days, yeah. I can send that out and then we can next month go through mm -hmm. the details. But um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this term, but VROM or LOE, those are kind of equivalent for our purposes, but very rough order of magnitude as far as how much effort it will take to accomplish any of these particular action items. Mm -hmm. uh, so that would be something that we would, we would use that to determine in part at least priority. So like realistically, if we know something is going to take an insane amount of effort and it doesn't have that much of a payoff, it should be lower priority relative to something that, you know, has a lower amount of effort attached to it, but has a higher amount of value to the community. Um, so risk level, I put that in there. That's something we don't need to use, but it can be useful to know how much risk the community can be involved sometimes in trying to accomplish something or pushing a particular agenda. It may be useful complexity. Some things are really complex that leads to more effort or more legal efforts or problems uh, sometimes. So that's something to think about. And um, then impact value, that would probably be something we definitely need to figure out. How are we assessing the value of these particular action items? Uh, so I'll give you an example. Um, the first one we have is inventory commercial real estate. What is, how, what is the value of that for the community? How do we know how much value that's going to give? 
how would we even assess that? There's got to be a way of kind of figuring that out. I have some ideas, but obviously that's just me. Uh, so that's something we maybe we can have some ideas about that for next month. Um, I don't know if you want to talk about that now, or why don't you just go over where you are so far? And we'll, um, we'll get into the nuts and bolts next month. Sure. Uh, so I'm more than happy done mapping the document to uh, that basically that spreadsheet and then filling out estimates. We do need to mark off what's been completed. So we can do that now. Uh, or we'll start walking through it if we can. Or, uh, I don't know. That part we, we should be able to do soon. That part I, I need help doing. I can't do it by myself. Mm -hmm. I don't know all the things that have been done with regard to the action items on the, the plan. Mm -hmm. But that would be helpful so we could say, hey, this is done, or it's not even relevant. Like one of them is uh, the COVID outreach support businesses affected by COVID-19. Is that done? Mm -hmm. Are we going to consider that still to be on the action list, uh, for example? So, uh, yeah, um, I'm trying to think of anything else I haven't covered. No, it kind of covers it, so, okay. yeah. And you said that will, you can get that to Katie within the next few days? Uh, I can get the spreadsheet, yep. and I can get the visual uh, outputs in the spreadsheet, so pivot tables and some kind of a, like an impact versus effort grid, so we can kind of put it, put them in, as dots mm -hmm. in, in a visual, like just a slide that says, hey, these are going in this corner, most, most impact, so that can help us as a unit to vote on and prioritize all the projects. Okay. So that I can have the next week or so. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. And mm -hmm. speaking of COVID, on to the next item, the Art for Business Grant Program. Jordan? All right. Thank you. Um, so since I saw you last, we've been busy sending it out and getting the program going. Um, so some of the things I've done is I emailed it out to um, 60 businesses who, when they signed up for the business directory that provided their emails, um, posted on Facebook, and I've shared it a few times. Um, and according to Facebook, it's been seen about a thousand times, give or take. Uh, but the big one is the Turnpike Flyer ad. Um, I've heard a lot of people have seen that. Um, and uh, that goes out to, I think, like 41,000 people in the, the, the area. Um, I also went to the PBA meeting and um, handed out about 10 packets um, there. And then also the PBA and uh, Chamber of Commerce sent out um, this information to their members. Um, so far, um, we have four applications, um, Hope Lodge, Marie's Fitness, um, and then two that I have to do a little more research into. Uh, Flourish by Chrissy and Mike's Cuts. Um, those two appear What was the third one? Flourish by Chrissy. Flourish, F-L-O-U-R? Yep. Okay. Um, and all of them I'm requesting additional information before I even bring it. And who was the fourth Mike's Cuts? Mike's Cuts, yeah. Um, Mike's Cuts, I believe, is trying to apply as a startup. Um, and then we have two applications that they're completed. They're just waiting on two final pieces. Each one is waiting on one piece. So that's Tap Truck, which they are a, um, a mobile bar business. Um, I guess they're a franchise. I actually had never heard of them until they reached out. Um, and they're located. Mobile bar is in liquor? Yeah, but they provide only the, the bar itself. So they have old cars that they've converted into okay. bar spaces and uh, enchanted jewelry. Uh, both of them are waiting on, like I said, one piece of information, but they've informed me that their applications are complete. And then I've met with Longos to provide technical support. Uh, they're going to be submitting an application. Uh, Matthew's Catering came in to talk to me. They're going to be submitting an application. Um, and then the Ramsfield, I'm meeting with them on um, Monday to talk about an application. I've also sent it out to uh, all of the fire departments because nonprofits are eligible to apply. Um, the ambulance service and uh, the soccer league. I also gave it to John Moore over at the American Legion. Um, and he, I think they're going to submit an application. I hope they do, at least. Um, and I did bring, um, so I, 
I went out and I handed out a few um, in person. A lot of people have come into the town hall, like Matthew's Catering and Longos. Um, I have not, gone, I've probably gone to five or six different businesses. I, I want to ramp that up in the upcoming uh, weeks, but I did bring some copies if anyone's interested. Um, and Is you that the same um, that you distributed to us? Yep, it's all the same, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, but I have physical copies, so I know I keep some in my car. Kevin has some in his car. Um, and then, you know. Y'all got the trade name listing updated to the 9th of this month um, via email. And with nothing else, motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion to adjourn. Second? Sure, second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries at 714.